Hey guys, it's the Auto Honda again, and we are here today in Boston at Art in Motion. Uh, it is uh, sponsored by Hagerty's and Liqua Molly. Fantastic event. It is actually been changed the location. Originally, it was supposed to be in Copley Square. Uh, we got a much better location this year. It's down in East Boston. Absolutely fantastic. Probably about 200 cars here, and we'll be going through most of them. So it should be a lot of fun. Looking forward to it, and we will talk to you soon. And remember, it's about the drive. All right, so we are here today, once again, as I was just saying, in East Boston. Porsche 993 in Arena Red. You can just see some of the neat cars that came here today. But um, specifically, you know, sure, we have a Porsche Speedster, GTR, a 500 SL, an M3, um, Mustang 5.0, Audi, another one, another one. Look at this beautiful Corvette right here. And we're gonna swing over to this. Yeah, this. This, I believe, is the Chevy Citation Sport. Uh, this was a nice car when it came up, and still is. Look at this bad boy. This is fantastic. I, I really, I laughed in a good way when I saw it. I'm like, wow, that's great that somebody would bring one. The paint is flawless. Here's the interior. Look, it's typical GM, folks, but the car's lasted. Has the original OEM radio, has the automatic transmission. There you go. 85 miles an hour on the speedometer. I think that's one of the cool things about the um, cars. And you can see where it says Citation. Here's a Buick GNX. Uh, this is a Grand National uh, with the turbocharged. I think it's been uh, slightly upgraded. Neat, again, neat little car. And I love how it still says 85 miles an hour on it. And clearly it goes faster than 85. It's a neat little car. And this is just a Grand National, but it's still a very cool car. Over here is a Scrambler by Ducati. That is hidden away. I like that, just hiding it. That's really, really sweet. A G-Wagon. This is an MG. The Auto Hans car. 44. Not the turbo version, but it's still the 944. BMW M5. Here is Paul's uh, Porsche 930. This is a Porsche 993 911. Another 911. And a little Volkswagen bug. Sweet little car. Let's look around the side of it. Oh, I want to see the uh, sticker price. Because it's on the side. This is before they did all the bells and whistles. Oh, that's $2,975. California car. Very cool. Swing around this way. That's my friend Bob's car. He also has a Boxster. We're Boxster buddies. Uh, he has a Polestar. Shocking that I would see one on the road now, even though I just test drove one last week, so it was pretty cool. Here is the, the Beetle. Little tiny engine. Here. Here is a 1966 Jaguar E-Type in British Racing Green. Top is down. Yeah, you do have a problem. Take a meter crown a week. How nice is this? Sweet little car. Great show. This right here is a Ford Bronco. That's in great shape. Look at this. This is gorgeous. Here's a 6.3 280. This is an AMG. Inside, take a look right here. All rallied up, ready to go. And this is a GT500. Uh, there's currently one on Bring a Trail, it's a King of the Road version, for $150,000. Probably be sold by the time we watch this video on Wednesday. Here's the interior of this car. Look at this. You see who made the car right there. That's the engine. That's what makes the car go. Isn't it pretty? It's blue. And let's go around to the motor. A lot of effort into it. Look at that. It's beautiful. You want me to pick you up so you can see? And then the Lamborghini LP. I believe this is the 550, and it is. LT. 
yeah, LP550. Very pretty car. The Arancio Argos. Or orange. Uh, here's a Acura NSX. And this is owned by a gentleman by the name of Eric as well. Um, and this is the SLS. He's done a couple of modifications. So this is a 2016 AMG SLS. Uh, the owner um, put some carbon fiber on it. It looks amazing. And uh, here's the uh, Instagram. Look at the inside of this truck. This thing? Yeah. Okay. How sweet is that? And then he changed out the spoiler from the automatic pop-up spoiler to this beautiful carbon fiber. And what I liked about it is he didn't go to the end of the car way over here. He just did it right here. And it just matches the car. And you can see right here on the GTS how this lines up with the body line of the car. Quite nice. And we'll swing back around and get a full full on shot of her. And I'd like to fly over the car. This is the BMW M2. Sorry about that. It's alright. You can hear what's flying around. Here's the AMG V8 by Turbo. And look at this an SRT10. This is a Dodge Viper motor in this car, ladies and gentlemen. It is fast AF. I'm not allowed to say the other word on there because I don't swear on my channel. Uh, take a look. SRT10 with the seats. 160 miles an hour, manual transmission. Thing's a beast. It's an absolute beast. It's a sleeper because nobody expects a pickup truck to be able to go as fast as this thing does. 944, a non turbo, another 911. And this right here, I don't know what this is. Let's take a look at this. This is very cute. Don't know what it is. It says 2500. I have no idea who makes it. Let's see. It's a British car because it's got the Union Jack all over it, but I don't know what it is. Full we'll, we'll switch. Um, it's a Ferrari, Porsche GT. This is a GT3 RS, so it's the really high spec one. Look at this wing. That is unbelievable. And then this is the Ferrari. I believe this is a 488, I could be wrong. There's the inside. Take a look at this beautiful white Mercedes Benz. And this is a two door coupe. Pretty car. Look at that motor. Completely restored. Look at the dashboard! Ah! That is awesome! Full wood dash. Two tone tuxedo color. Huracan Evo. We've all seen this car before. This is a kit car. It's not an original Cobra, but it's unbelievable. I love this car. It's one of the more enjoyable cars to look at because it's just a road, so you know exactly what it's for. It's to have fun in. And you'll see this is 66. This is the interior. You've seen this Audi before. This is a beautiful little Audi Quattro. It is the Porsche uh, that Dave owns. This is a friend of mine's car. He's absolutely has an amazing collection. This is one of the cars that he has today, is two today. This is a Safari um, tribute car. It's absolutely gorgeous. Here is a Lancia. And this is an actual Lancia uh, rally car. Here's an Alpine. This is a 1600. Really pretty car. This is a GT40. Look at that. That is gorgeous. And this is a Lexus LFA. The 
This is uh, being driven today by Tedward on uh, well, his channel, Tedward, so you should follow him on YouTube. He's got a ton of subscribers, he needs more, so let's get him busy. Um, amazing car. 1932 Auburn with the wood spoke wheels. This is the Sunbeam Harrington. This is an Alpine. It's a beautiful car. Look at this. Driving uh, steering wheel on this side of the car. It's just a cute little car. Love it. Here's the Fiat Jolly. Yeah. Like I said, this is 1932 Auburn, and it's a full frame of restoration. Look at the beautiful wooden wheels. Actually, you know what it does have, which is unbelievable? It's got a two-speed rear end. It's a two-speed rear end hearing. Look at these lights. Oh, by the way, just this is Boston. An amazing city. Yeah, yeah. They, oh, and we get a big tall ship right there. So, Boston is certainly flexing on the nation right now. This is gorgeous. Look at this. Chrysler Imperial. All right. Yacht over there. Yacht there. This is amazing. Look at this car. He has the interior of the Imperial. And he has a Ferrari Dino, 1974. Smell the interior of this car from a mile away. It's beautiful. It smells so good. All leather interior. Stunning car. And here is a Spiker. We looked at one of these down in Connecticut. Really beautiful car. This is, uh, I've seen this car a few times at car shows. Absolutely gorgeous. And that is exactly what you think it is. This is a Porsche Carrera GT. This is outstanding. Um, nobody wanted them at $400,000. Now they're worth $2 million. Look at the wooden shifter knob on it. The wheels, carbon fiber. Just a stunning car. And the driver gets on this one, he told me. He goes, it's absolutely fantastic. It squats right down to the speed. Of course it should. It's a V12 Aston Martin. And this, I believe, is the V12 Vantage S. It says dog like he must be a golfer. Uh, beautiful car. And this Tygen. Oh, unbelievable. What a great looking car. Hey guys, this was the Auto Hound. What a great show that was. I had a lot of fun. So, here's what I'm going to tell you. Like, comment, subscribe. Please share. I would love to have more subscribers. Nonetheless, I'm still going to keep doing this because I enjoy it. And again, remember, it's about the drive.